Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano, and this is another episode of the world famous, the University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call this show Online Marketing Moves, and we are coming to you live today. Ladies and gentlemen, today is Friday, April the 12th, 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very happy to be talking to you today. Um, Everybody, it is Friday. What do you have planned for the weekend? You know what I'm going to do this weekend? I am going to hang out with my wife. Hey, you got with my daughter, and uh, that's going to be about it. You know, I don't really like to, uh, I try not to leave my house too much. You know, my wife, she likes to go, and she likes to go socialize and have lunch with people, blah, blah, blah. Me, I'd rather not. I like to sit around the house, walk down the street with my daughter, walk around the neighborhood a little, little bit, look at the different houses. Look at the trees, look at the sky, you know, things of that nature. And then walk back home, you know. Uh, that's how I'm rolling. How are you rolling? What, what, what do you do? You want, Are you one of these people that got a jet set everywhere? Uh, you know, me, I, I find traveling kind of over overrated. You have to go sit around, you know, go to the airport, you know, do the whole You got to do the whole, you know, uh, get searched, take off your shoes, take off your belt, take everything out of your pants. You know, you know, you know, boys and girls, before, before 9-11, there was a time where you could easily show up, show up at the airport 30 minutes before your plane took off. You could uh, walk down the, walk down the, run down the run down run through the airport hop on a plane and go i did that once i don't recommend that i had a friend she picked me up she kept telling me it's cool it's cool it's cool Uh, man we we got plenty of time to get to the airport Uh, we was we were stuck in traffic in st louis i remember she said you got to run now i said you are never taking me to the airport again I mean, I loved her. I love her, but I was like, never again. And so I was running through the airport, and this was like 1998. And those were different times. I had I had a one time I was coming going back to San Diego. My uncle, um, he he took me to the airport. He dropped me off. He had a daughter, my little cousin. She wanted to come on the plane. They let her come on the plane. She got on the plane. She gave me a hug. She said, I'm going to miss you. And the people were like, ah, ah. And I said, I'll miss you too. My uncle was like, love you, nep- nephew. I said, love you too, aunt. And, you know, and uh, that was like 1999 or 2000, something like that. And it's so crazy how now the airport has changed. It is. Some of you wasn't even alive in 2001. Some of you probably were babies. Who knows? Some of you were probably alive and ticking and so on and so on. But ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about something very important. We are going to talk about trying trying out something new, doing something for the first time, being a beginner. The pros, the cons, the you know. Um... I'll give, I will give you a, a something I was thinking about. I am the I am in the beginning stages of mark of of selling my copywriting services. Okay, I am I am in the beginning stages. I've written quite a bit, but never for people. I've written for me. I've written blog posts for for me. I've written you know things for me, built websites for me. A lot of the stuff I've created has been for me. And so, you know, I thought 
I need to get more. I need to focus on, you know, client work. I need to get, I need to get more practice, more, you know, more business when it comes to copywriting. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to start. And I got on LinkedIn and, you know, I did all this and all that. And it's still a few things I need to do, but it's just like, <clears throat> you know, you watch, you, you, and you know, the, you know, the drill, if you ever started something new, you started a new career, a new business, whatever. What's the hardest thing? The hardest thing is to start. Okay. Because there's always, there's, it's like when you, it's like, it's like I give I give you an example. When I first got my when I first got my commercial driver license way back when. When I first got my license, I, I never wanted to go over the road. I never wanted to be I never wanted to be away from home. It was just just a fact. And so I tried to go here. I tried to go there. You know, try to get a job around my neighborhood. It was always saying, you need more experience. You need more experience. You need more experience. And I kept thinking to myself, how can I get experience when ain't, ain't nobody going to uh, hire me, you know? And so I just kept thinking, what are we, we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? And so eventually I had to go. I had to go. Eventually I broke down and went over the road. <laughs> and uh, if you listen to yesterday's episode, you know how I feel about truck driving. But anyway, uh, I went over the road. It worked out. I got some experience. But with copywriting, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to go work for a big company. I, I don't want to do that. The goal is and, and, and I'm just giving you I'm just giving you. Um, my experience and I'm going to tell you my experience and I'm going to tell you why you should not give up and you should keep striving and you should keep moving forward with the thing that you want to do. And, you know, I go and I look and I, you know, I go to the different websites and, you know, I, I wrote this, I wrote this essay out for this website so I can get on their, on their website. And they said, you know, Hey, we like what you wrote. We like what, you know, how you, how you write or whatever you have been approved. And so I get it on that website and I had to bid on jobs. And, the, you know, of course, everybody wants to work with somebody who's, you know, have, has experience. I have no experience. So what can you do to gain experience? Well, <clears throat> as I just told you, one thing that you can do, no matter, no matter who you are, no matter what it is you want to do. If you do it, if you if you want to talk about dogs, <clears throat> you know, if you want to sell your dog services, but if you start a podcast or you create content to to for, if you create content for dogs, you know, you will get people to to find you. You will have people find you. You will get people to look you up. You know, you, you know, you know, the marketing routine you have to do the search engine, the, all that good stuff. But you will, people will find you, you know. And <clears throat> one of the things that I wrote on on LinkedIn, you know, I wrote, you know, I'm a copywriter looking for, you know, freelance work. I've written blog posts for myself. I've written blog posts for, you know, my website. I've written blog posts on, you know, sites like Medium. I've gotten on sites like, uh, I forget the name of the site with the copywriting thing. But the point is, I wrote, I don't have experience with clients, but I have experience with myself. My, I, I am, I have been my own client for the last five years. So I, I wrote that. And now what I have to do is I'm going to write articles on LinkedIn on a, on a regular basis, you know, like every day I'm going to write an article so people can see, hey, this guy writes, this guy can write, he does write, he writes a lot because one of the things that is for you to get experience, you have to actually do the thing that you want to do. You know what I mean? For for me to sit here and say, hey, I'm going to wait till somebody pays me to write would be crazy. It's like, don't, don't do that. Don't try that. Just start 
just start writing. That's and that's what I do. I write. I write on Medium. I write poems. I write blog posts. You know, I write emails every day. I do the headlines for this for this show. I write the body. So if anybody asks me, what do you write? I can say, hey, I write this. I write that. I can send them samples. I can give them samples. And so I want you to do the same thing. Whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter. You know, you do you want to do freelance work. Work on work on stuff for you. Work on your website. Work on building up you. Work on building up your brand. Work work on the things that you can't control. You can't control. Hey, these people these people ain't hired me yet. Okay, they haven't hired you yet, but it doesn't mean they won't. They they once people see that hey, this guy's not joking around. This guy's not playing around. This guy or this girl, for the small female audience, <laughs> who. Once you say, hey, then once they say, hey, this guy's not joking around, he's not playing around, they will recognize that and then they will give you, and then you have a better chance of actually getting some work, you know. I remember I drove the first year I got in the truck, I drove for a company called Swift. And if you ever look up Swift online, you always see they, they have a bad reputation because they hire, God bless them, they hire a lot of new a new drivers in the beginning stages of the driving career. And so, you know, we're all beginners. And when you are beginning something, you tend to uh, mess up a little bit. And yes, so Swift has a high rate of accident, but only because they hire people that are in the beginning. And so no matter what you do, if you are in, in the beginning stages, th there there might be some things that you, you don't do well, but you come in with fresh eyes. You might, you act, you might actually do more or you might you might actually be better for the job than somebody that's been doing it for a long time because i will tell you what if you hire if you told me hey i want to hire you i want to hire somebody brand new to drive my truck from uh pittsburgh pennsylvania to california i'm going to tell you like this the guy that's been driving the the new the new guy he's going to get your stuff over there quicker He's gonna get he, he you know he might not he might not be as efficient as I'm gonna be, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it to California with a lot of love and a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of hey man I got your load I'm gonna be hey the load's gonna get there when it's gonna get there the traffic the weather the, I'm gonna shut down if 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 they tell me hey high winds coming up. I'm shutting down. You know, this new guy, he might be like, oh, don't worry about it. I can get through there. And he, he might be able to get through there. Me, nope. Been there, done that. Ain't doing it. Not trying to do it. So, you know, one thing that you have to realize, and you might want to relay this, you know, if there's somebody that says, hey, why should I hire you? You say, hey, fresh eyes, okay? Your service is more fresh than the, than the other person. Somebody that's been copywriting for 10 years, you know, somebody that's been doing freelance copywriting for 10 years, they are going to say, hey, I do things this way. I do, th do things that way. Me, you hire me. I'm going to be like, hey, uh, how do you want it? Gotcha. And, you know, eventually I'm going to say, hey, you know, I do things this way. How do you want? What do you want? Blah, 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 blah. But in the beginning, you you in the beginning, and it's anybody. You are more receptive to listening to your the the client, the customer, however you, however you want to phrase it. You are more receptive to listening to them because you are not as molded yet. You know, as I just told you, you hire me to drive twenty five hundred miles down the road. I don't have any enthusiasm. I'm not. I'm only gonna do it if you pay me a great amount of money. You know, you can't get me out of my house to drive for pennies for, 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 for 13 cents a mile. I would cuss you out, hang up the phone. I wouldn't even cuss you out. I would just hang up the phone. I say, hey, God bless them and call it a day. But somebody that's new, you can pay them a little cheaper and they and they they'd have a lot of energy and they'd be rip roaring, ready to go, you know. <clears throat> and it's the same as you know, any any service that you want to provide for somebody, you're brand new, they hire you, you're like, I'm ready to go. I'm enthusiastic. You know, your head is going to explode. You're so happy. 
and you, you're going to do an excellent job. Not that you won't do an excellent job as you become more seasoned, but that first, it's like going on a first date. You know, the best, and not I'm not even saying this, but the best, the reason why marriages are, are, are so, so great is because you have to, you have to do a lot of hard work. You have to work hard at your, you have to work very hard at your marriage because when you've been married for more than me and my wife, this is going to be year seven. We still laugh. We still joke. I have to really make my, my laugh. My wife does not give me courtesy. No more courtesy laughs, bucko. My wife does not give me the courtesy laugh. Okay. I really had to pop her to make her laugh. I really have to say, say something that she finds funny to get that tickle, to get that funny bone going, you know? And uh, it's just the way it is, you know? Uh, sometimes she'll say, you told me that already. Like, oh, I did I? Well, I'm going to tell it to you again anyway. I don't care. And just like the other night, we was laying in bed. She put her feet on me. I said, can you get them cold? Can you get your cold feet off me? She said, no, this is what you're here for. I said, you got to be kidding me. And I thought to myself, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, she would have never put her, her coat. If I would have said, hey, can you get your cold feet on me? She said, okay, baby. And now she's like, I don't give up. I don't give up. And sometimes we have these conversations, and it's pretty funny. She'll go, I don't care what you're talking about right now. And I say the same thing. I'm like, I really don't care. I'm just going to do whatever. You know, it don't matter. And she's like, I know. And it's annoying, but at the same time, it's like, hey, we can tell each other the truth. We don't have to sit here and sugarcoat things. And so, uh, and you know, in the beginning of a, a relationship, every everything is great. Everything is great. The way they laugh, the way they smile, the way they eat their salad, the way they laugh, the way they look at you. You know, it's fresh eyes. You know, it's you know, it's 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 nice. It's lovely. It's beautiful. You're all in love. You know, or wh whatever you perceive as love. You're in beginning love. You know. And everything they do is great. And everything they do is nice. Until you get acquainted with each other. And that's how and that's how it that's how it is in the beginning of, you know, the service you provide. The people are gonna be like, Oh, you're so great. I can't believe this, I can't believe that. And then you you're gonna go through different relationships. You're gonna go through bumps and bruises with people. You're gonna get a little season and then eventually you're gonna be like no, you, you still will like it, but you're going to be like, eh, I'm a little hesitant. I got to watch them, blah, blah, blah. You will know more by then. But in, in the beginning, you are ready to be molded, you know. And the client, you say, hey, wh whatever you need, you know, you need this, you need that, you know. You will be over the moon happy, you know. And that's fresh eyes is one of the benefits that you have, you know. And so don't get discouraged. Do not do not get discouraged about the service you want to provide, you know, the clients that you're looking for, the customers you want to get, if they're not banging on your door in the beginning, do not quit. Do not give up. Keep going. Keep striving. And, hey, just keep working on the things that you can control. If you have if you have a website, write every day. Build that up, you know. If you have videos you want to make, write, uh, create them videos. You know, if you have a podcast, do that every day, you know. Um Whatever you whatever you can do to get eyes on your service, to get eyes on you, do that. You know, TikTok, you know, social media marketing, you know, direct marketing. If you have to send postcards out, hey, I'm available, blah, 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 blah. You know, postcards, social media, online, offline, does not matter how you get people. Phone book, Craigslist, however you got to um, market to people, market to people, you know, and uh, make sure they find you, you know, have the website, make sure they can find you. You know, make sure you give out your phone number. You know, be giving out your phone number. You know, be on the hustle. The more you hustle, the more you, you know, go at it, the better off you will be. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Uh, you know, today is Friday, so might drop a bonus episode on Saturday. But if not, you will definitely hear from me on Monday. Um, I appreciate all of you. I appreciate you for listening. As I told you yesterday, share this with a friend. Share this with, with the family. Share this with your enemy. I don't care who you share it with, but share it with somebody. I appreciate you all for listening. Uh, we will be back on Monday with the all-new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Zano. Thank you for listening. God bless. And as always, everybody, peace.